Very close. Sixty-seven on the nose. Good. Yeah, we're here uh, in Omaha, Nebraska with one of our clients and partners, uh, Fulcrum Reliability Systems. So something that Fulcrum specializes in is the commissioning of critical infrastructure, very specifically data centers. We've done gigawatts worth of work at this point. As, it, as things start to grow rapidly, the emphasis on production over quality tends to cause eventually delays. Those often in the form of uh, defects, installation errors, uh, testing not going as expected, um, equipment basically not operating as you anticipate. We saw this booming environment that was getting to learn the impact of whether you have good quality or you don't. What I like about them is that they've got a ton of integrity. Uh, the guys came uh, out of the Navy, a lot of nuclear background. They really understand the whole process of following procedures and how to properly commission equipment. They've been a great partner for Cumulus because they bring a lot of experience uh, to the market. They're already on a lot of data center projects. They're working with several different hyperscalers, several different GCs that are out there. And so they uh, also do torque witness. Uh, so they're out there in the field with the trade partners, with the electricians, actually witnessing the torque, ensuring that that torque is done properly. And they've seen a real benefit in the Cumulus system because this is completely digitizing that process. Where Cumulus comes in is in the past, everything is paper. Now, even if you're doing it electronic, you're filling out a spreadsheet on a computer or you're filling out a, a printed out torque lock. For us, it's been since right April, we've been using Cumulus where it's basically a software program that allows us to electronically capture um, all our activities in the field related to torquing, specifically joint packs for the site that I'm at. Okay. What we have here is we have a mock-up setup of a typical joint pack and busway section in which the task here will be to properly torque this joint pack to the required uh, foot poundage to, to make proper contact to make sure that the electrical connection function of this splice device or this joint pack device will result in continuity, uh, no hot spots, no uh, arcing within, within the component. So that torque is what is required to make sure we have the positive connection uh, to make long-term reliability out of this particular component. I have an option. I can use a Bluetooth uh, designed wrench that will sync up with the Cumulus application. In this case, we've already done that. That wrench has already been synced. Uh, and you can see that it's identified down here as a smart wrench. The Bluetooth wrench will automatically log what I torque. These not only link up with the Cumulus app, but the, app, the application actually prescribes the actual torque value that this wrench will be set out for the component. There's less errors. Well, I say less errors, there's no errors because it tells you if you're using the Bluetooth torque wrench, the number's already pre-programmed. And if you're doing the wrong thing, it's going to tell you. It's not going to pass it. Uh, having the workflows built into it gives you a process so you know what you're supposed to do. You know, don't just go up there and put a wrench on it. Did you look at it first? Did you inspect it? This has allowed us to get a real-time capture of what it is that we're accomplishing in the field. Okay, so we've been able to integrate this. Um, it only took us about a week and a half to really get up to speed. I would say we've been working pretty much 100% uh, since about a week and a half after adopting that program. Typically, we're working out of a lift. Um, there's multiple joint packs, upper and lower level joint packs within a given row of the data center, uh, and 38 rows in a, in a hall typically, and that's just an average depending on what discipline you're dealing with. The ability to put electronic Bluetooth torque wrench on a, on a connection and have everything be captured makes that process significantly more pleasant, I would say. If I'm gonna torque, 100,000 connections over the course of maybe one to two months with teams of 10, 20, 30 people, and I'm trying to accelerate a huge schedule, not having really good feedback mechanisms in place for where we're at by day three, means I have no idea if we're gonna hit target. And what would I even do uh, you know, most of the time it's extremely high level. Like, well, we got through about half of the data hall. 
if you have a tool that will literally indicate whether that task was done or not. I can structure those tasks in, time, in a timeline and then I can watch as the torque is unfolding through time. So this chart was one of the ones that struck me right out the gate because we have an ability to project the total number, uh, let's say in this particular case, uh, torque activities or how many torques we're gonna do. And this, this can aggregate, you know, thousands of individual torques. And in the, in the scheme of all of that, you know, I'm only doing so many per day, but you can get a sense of just from this chart, what's happening. We started off and the resources are learning what they're doing. They're getting better. And then they start to accelerate. And then what I'm finding out over here is, oh, well, why are we slowing down? We're getting to completion of the actual overall activity. So you see the typical work workflow chart. What I, and what you can, you can glean from something like this is like, okay, we all know at the front end of a project, things initially start off and they're not perfect. You're, you're getting things figured out. So there's a rate to that. But then there's this core rate that I need to know that's going to tell me, you know, between here and 90% completion, what, what, what can I forecast that our team actually gets done out there? You can have your checklist, your torque log, everything all in one spot. And it just simplifies. Less time filling out paperwork means more productivity. Uh, it's better documentation. You get real time updates on the status and where you're at. It just overall makes life easier. A lot of people are thinking, you know, one of the only things that we're going to get out of this is the digitization of the torque log. And it's like, you get the digitization of the torque log and that's awesome. You get the systemization of the workers activity doing the torque. So there's a consistency, there's a methodology that's, that's not me depending on somebody to specifically do particular activity all, all manually. But in the background, I'm getting work progress tracking. You know, as a manager or somebody who's a supervisor out in the field that's responsible for getting a task done on time, you're getting some really good data feedback quickly to tell you whether, are we tracking right here? Is this a learning curve or is this the rate that the resources are moving at? You know, once I hit about here, is that pretty much what we're averaging? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now I know where we're going to land. And this was, you see this as from a project management standpoint, from a supervisory standpoint, hitting milestone completions and managing schedule, that type of information is gold.